In this video, we're in Microsoft Excel, and I want to show you three different methods for splitting date and time. The first method is going to use text to columns. Second method is going to use a couple of formulas. And then lastly, I'll show you how to do it with Power Query. So let's start off with text to columns. First step is to select your dates and times, then go to the data tab on your ribbon, go over to the data tools group, click on text to columns. Step one, you can leave as it is, delimited. Next. Step two, you need to make sure that space is selected. Next. Then you need to decide where you want the split date and times to appear. So by default, it will overwrite the existing values, but I'm going to change the destination to C2. Click on finish and I get my dates and times. Second method using formula. To understand what's going on here, you need to understand that dates and times are really numbers. So if I remove the format from this cell, the date and time format, so I've gone to the Home tab, I'm going to go over to this drop down and choose General, which will remove the format. You can see that there is a number behind the date and time value. Now, the date portion of this number is everything to the left of the decimal place. And the time portion is everything to the right of the decimal place. So bear that in mind when we use these formulas. I'll just reinstate that format. So to get the date portion of the time, remember we need everything to the left of the decimal place. And to do that, we can use the int function. Int rounds a number down to the nearest integer. I'll just widen the column so you can see what's going on. Now the format does show the time, even though the time is zero hours, zero minutes, and zero seconds. To get rid of that, you have to reformat the cell. I can choose short date, and then I can copy this down and I get the rest of the dates. Now to get the time element, I'm gonna use the mod function. Mod returns the remainder after a number is divided by a divisor. So if I took the number, the call time, comma, and divided by one, then what you'd have left is the time element of our call time. I need to widen the column so you can see that. And again, the format is still showing the date, so I need to go up here and choose time, and then I can copy this down. Now, at the moment, these formulas are linked to the original values. So, for example, if I change this time, it would update the time over here. And also, I can't delete the original call times because that would affect the result of these formulas. So if you want these results to be independent of the original call times, you need to copy them. So Control-C to copy. Home tab on your ribbon, paste, and paste values. So now I can delete these. And the dates and times still appear on my sheet. Third and final method, using Power Query. So you'd only use this method if you're using Power Query anyway. First step would be to click somewhere in the data then go to the Data tab on your ribbon. In the Get and Transform Data group, I'm gonna click on From Sheet. If you can't see From Sheet, click on something like From Table, depending on the version of Excel you've got. From Sheet, where is the data for your table? That just confirms the range. Also, I need to say whether I already have headers. I do. And all you do is you go to Add Column, then from date and time, you go to date, date only. Click back in your call time column, time, time only. Then you go back to home, and then you go to close and load. And it will place the results on a different sheet. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully it's useful. If it is, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you next video.